So today I'm going to do the what's in my bag challenge because I have let my bag accumulate a lot of crap for a long time and I think it might be quite interesting to see what is in there. Also, sorry, I couldn't really bother to do a lot of my hair so it looks quite... What is this? Good grief. So this is my bag. It is just a brown fake leather bag. Um, it's from H&M and I think it was 14 99 and it's lasted me about a year. I really like it. It does the job well. I'm not into designer in general and definitely not into designer handbags. I could never spend more than £100 on a bag just because I'd be so scared of like scratching it or damaging it in any way so I just stick to the casual get the job done handbags. It's got these straps that you can either carry in your hand or in the crook of your arm. It's also got this really long strap as well so you can just wear it over your shoulder as well which is how I normally wear mine. So that's just the actual bag and inside Oh my god, I've got so much crap in here. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I might just put my hand in and randomly pull something out. Oh, my phone. So I've got the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I only recently got it and I absolutely love it. I wasn't sure whether to get this one or the just the normal iPhone 6, but I'm so glad I went for this one because now I still have my old iPhone 5 and when I pick that up and use it, because I take that when I go on nights out and stuff so I don't lose this one, um, and when I use that it just feels like a toy, it feels so like light and I'm like how did I use this before, it's so small. Yeah I really love this one and it's so much faster and the camera's amazing on this one and I just love it. My case is from eBay, if I remember I will link it below but I really like it and I've got the gold one. So yeah that's my phone. And what is next? Ooh, we've got some headphones which have got a hair clip attached to them. I didn't even know I had this. I don't think this is mine because I never wear these. Whatever. Got the Rimmel Lasting Finish in London Clouds, which is just a white nail varnish. A hair bubble, which I always seem to be short of. A singular glove. I've got Impulse um, Temptation Vanilla and Peach Spray, which looks like it's been run over by a truck. It's got so many dents in it. I can't even remember what it smells like. I haven't used it in ages. I'm not even sure if I like that or not. Oh, this is quite cool. I've got a um, ticket for Matilda the Musical yeah, in the West End, which my boyfriend got me for my birthday. <laughs> I have a FM transmitter because I was trying to link up my phone um, to my car MP3. I've got a Morrison's chance to win 1 million points every day voucher, and I didn't win, so I really wish I did. I have a sight test card after I did my um, eye test at Specsavers, which was bloody expensive. And it turns out I don't need glasses, which is good. But I could have told myself that. £22 that eye test cost me. Not fun. I've got a packet of tissues. These ones are just standard £1 tissues from Morrison's. Um, quite essential to have in your bag. I've got a City Electrical Factors diary for 2015 because my boyfriend works there and he gave me one for free. Love a freebie. I've got a nail file, still in its packet. I've got another nail varnish and this one is the Maybelline Colour Show Be Brilliant nail varnish in Light It Up. I've got another pair of headphones um, that are all tangled, obviously. I've got one pair that works and one pair that doesn't and they're both in my bag and I have no idea which one works so I'm gonna have to have a listen to those later and see which one I need to chuck away. Another hair bubble which is losing its elastic. Got another receipt and this is for Waitrose and it was my Mother's Day present. I got my mum some Balance Me face oil. So that's the receipt for that. So next we have my purse and I got this one from Primark quite recently. It's just like a standard white fake leather and then it's got this little clasp in the middle and then it's got all my cards and stuff inside so yeah I really like it. I've just got a £10 note in there which is a bit strange because I never normally carry any cash on me at all. I've also got one, two, three, four, four pounds forty-five p in change. And then I've got my Nando's cards, my savings card, my braille card, Starbucks card, subway card and my Shell Drivers Club card along with my debit card, driving licence, Tesco, Nectar, 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 <laughs> Boots, Superdrug and Morrison's cards. And then in the zippy bit in the back, I just have a load of 
cards which I use but not all the time so I've got like Jamie's gold card, my oyster card, uh, Odeon card, bingo card, <laughs> a lot of cards. I'm, I, I love like a rewards card. I've got some paracetamol, this is just anodin, normal standard paracetamol. Gotta carry it with you at all times in my opinion. Another nail file which is open and very well used, it probably doesn't even work anymore. So that's handy. I've got a lighter, even though I don't smoke, um, I just think it's handy to have a source of fire on you. You never know when you're going to need to light a fire. So that's why that's in there. I've got the book that I'm reading at the moment which is called Beyond Chocolate and it's how to stop yo-yo dieting and lose weight for good. Only a little way through so I've still got a long way to go before I'm not addicted to chocolate anymore but you know, it's worth a go. I've got a singular hair grip. Um, I would have been quite shocked if there wasn't a hair grip in my bag to be quite honest. I have a penny, just one piece. I've got my compact mirror which has another penny stuck to it magnetically. Oh now it's not doing it. Oh there we go. And this one is from Ruby and Millie which um, I think they discontinued Ruby and Millie actually. It has a mirror on both sides and the main thing I love about this mirror is the sound it makes when it closes. It's like the most satisfying sound in the world. See if I can recreate it but it might not be as good as it is in real life. Yes. I've got a conditioner from a hotel which I stayed in recently and it's the Aromatherapy Associates Balance Conditioner. I've got a full packet of ibuprofen which is always going to be handy. I've uh, a bingo pen because uh, we went to bingo, me and my friends, and I was one number away from winning £1,300. So that was annoying. Guess what the number was? 69. Make of that what you will. I've got a Swiss army knife, um, which I don't even know if you're allowed to carry these in your bag. I'm going to Google that before I leave that in. <laughs> you never know if you're going to need to open a bottle of beer or uncork some wine or I don't know, maybe you'll get stranded on a desert island and you need a knife to crack open a coconut. You never know. That's all I'm saying is be prepared. Next I've got my car keys and that's got my uh, gym membership uh, swipe card on it. And then it's got my actual car key and my house key. I've got an I Love New York key ring which my friend Emily got me from New York. Got a boomerang with Sydney on it when I went to Sydney. This is a bit weird. I've got a little sperm on a key ring because um, my friend went to a freshers fair at my university because we used to live together and she said that there was a stall and they were promoting like sexual health and they were selling condoms and stuff and they were giving away these free key rings so she got one for each of us and so that's been on my key rings ever since. <laughs> I've also got a Hamsa hand which is cute, I got that from Tunisia last year. Finally I've got a little ballet shoe because um, I was a dancer and I thought this was really cute because it's an actual little ballet shoe, it's got like a hard and it's like a um, point shoe and then it's got the block logo on the back so I don't know I really like that one it's one of my favorites but it's so old now it's like wearing down um but yeah there's my keys I've got a really old and really disgusting um big fluffy brush which I think was a girl's allowed brush so it's really old and it's like broken in half and like the wood is showing through oh my god that's not wood Oh my god, this is a little cocktail sausage that has dried out and gone rock hard because, um, oh my god. Oh, this is disgusting. Please don't judge me. I'm so sorry. I know the story behind that as well. So I was on the Atkins diet a while back and you could only really eat meat, vegetables and fats. So, um, and cocktail sausages are one of my favourite snacks and that must have jumped out of the um, container and jumped into the end of my brush so I'm just going to go chuck these both away now Okay, next I have the Bourgeois Paris Healthy Balance Powder which is completely um, smashed and there's hardly anything left I don't even know why it's still in there Probably should get a new one I've got a spare one of my favourite concealer which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD higher definition concealer in natural so that is my favorite concealer at the moment and I love it so I have a spare one on me at all times. I have a pen which I didn't think I had a pen because I was looking for one the other day and I couldn't find one so I have a secret pen that shows up when I don't need it. I've got a pot of chewing gum and this is the extra white 
bubble mint flavour, which is so good because it tastes like bubble gum, but it's sugar free. I think that's it. Oh, oh no. Uh, I've got an old fake nail, which is quite disgusting. God, everyone's gonna think I'm so gross. I've got some more fake nails, which are pink and glittery. Lovely. Gross. Okay, so that was everything that's in my bag. It's now completely empty. I'm really sorry that was a bit disgusting in some parts, but I just wanted to leave it for a few weeks and to see what things might be interesting. And you can't deny that a cocktail sausage stuck inside a fluffy brush is quite interesting. Am I right? I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who is subscribed to me at the moment. I recently hit 5,000 subscribers, which is incredible, and I'm so grateful, so thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed and you want to, you can just click that button down there that says subscribe on it, funnily enough, and that will subscribe you to my channel, so you'll get updates on when I post a new video, etc, etc. You know how to subscribe, you know how it works. No pressure though, I'm not going to pressure anyone into subscribing to me, not at all. No pressure, okay? Go subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one, bye!